Hi there, I'm Jeremy Krug, and in this video we're taking a look at AP Chemistry Unit 7, Section 8, which is about how we can represent an equilibrium mixture using a picture type of a method, like we see here. So in this type of example, which is a very typical type of example of this type of problem, we have a balanced equation, and we're given a picture. And there's a legend off to the side here. We can see that in this equation we have CH3OH gas, that is decomposing into carbon monoxide gas and two moles of hydrogen gas. And if we examine this uh, picture, we see that of the 10 molecules that are pictured here, only one is CH3OH. There's only one of the reactant molecules left. Whereas we have three carbon monoxide molecules, that's a product, we have six hydrogen molecules. That's a product as well. So in part A, the question is asking, describe the magnitude of the equilibrium constant. Well, since we have nine out of the 10 molecules here that are product molecules, and only one out of the 10 molecules that's a reactant molecule, it's safe to say we have a lot of product, so we're gonna have a very large equilibrium constant. A lot of products, represents large equilibrium constant. If you had had a lot of reactants instead, that would have been a very small equilibrium constant. In this case, when I say a very large equilibrium constant, that means it's much greater than one. Now in part B, it asks us to do something else. It says determine the partial pressure of the hydrogen gas if the total pressure is 2.0 atmospheres. So in order to find the partial pressure in a mixture, we have to take the mole fraction of that substance and multiply it by the total pressure. So the mole fraction of the H2 is six out of 10. And I know that because there are six H2 molecules, I can count them up right there, out of the total 10 in the mixture. I have to multiply this by the total pressure, which is 2.0 atmospheres, and that gives me a partial pressure of 1.2 atmospheres for that hydrogen. I'm Jeremy Krug. I've been teaching AP Chemistry for 24 years, and I hope I can use my knowledge to help you get the highest AP score that you can. If you haven't already subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. That way you'll have your entire AP curriculum here for you, as well as review videos and other problem walkthroughs and all other kinds of good stuff. Hope to see you on my next video, where we're gonna talk about what happens when you disturb a mixture at equilibrium. I hope to see you then.